Hi everyone, in this video we're going to have some fun and trying to get GPT-4 to create prompts for stable diffusion text to image model. So how it's going to work is we're going to create images and then we're going to rate those images. But first the user is going to come up with an idea for an image and then GPT-4 is going to produce prompts and then the images are going to get generated by stable diffusion and we're going to rate those images and send the best rated prompts back to GPT. So then we're going to try to get these images improved over time. For example, this was for astronaut lost in space. So these are images as chronologically generated. Also, I just want to mention that we're not using any artist names. So it's pretty difficult to get great images without using artist names from Stable Diffusion version 1.5. But we're going to try anyway. So as these images are generated, I rated them. And then the best rated prompts cycle back into stable, stable GPT-4. Then GPT-4 hopefully creates better prompts. And then, therefore, hopefully we get better and better images. And I was favoring more when people were apparent in these images, astronauts. And it did work to do that. As you see, the later images are almost always depicting astronauts. And they are better in quality, in my opinion. So there we go. Yeah, towards the end, it gets, it's almost always depicting an astronaut, as you see. So this was for astronauts. And also, by the way, just to make sure that I'm not biased, I created a script which shuffles these images and allows me to rate them in a shuffled order and then actually graphs them in the regular order. So this was, this was it. Sorry, let me go back. I guess there's a trend upwarding trend for 50 images because as you see the last 20 or so really didn't get a less than three rating and the higher the middle ground is empty as well so i guess there was an improvement i also tried with the medieval science let's quickly look at those as well so these are images in chronological order we're going to review the code right after this and I'll, dem I'll demonstrate you, to you how it works as well. Yeah, I thought it got better over time. Yeah, especially like this one I like very much. This one especially. Yeah, it started depicting people more more complex environments, more complex image. Yeah, so. As you see, we are using OpenAI and Stability API. We're getting a user input with what's an idea for an image, then we actually generate some sample prompts, send it back to GPT-4, and we are actually using async IO to generate five, currently five images and prompt pairs concurrently, so to, is to speed up the process. The best way to see this is to run it. I'm just going to quickly run this. Then we get prompted with what is your idea for an image. I'm just going to type tree of life. And then as we see, we start five processes immediately. Initial, we're generating an initial prompt and then initial images. You can increase this, but we're gonna start with five. When the images are generated, it is displayed to us. And then we look at the image. We have to close this window. You can actually do that just by clicking escape. And then now you have to rate it. Rate the image on a scale of one to 10. Now you can, we're only keeping five of the best prompts, right? So you need to have a, some kind of a rating strategy. Like that image looked great to me. I would normally give it maybe a seven or something. But the thing is that we just want to keep it in the highest rated prompts list. And if we use up all our like high ratings quickly, then we won't be able to add to it later on because it's essentially it's keeping the top rated five best five prompts. So if I were to rate the first five images 10, then we won't be able to add back and add, add more to it. So I'm just going to give this one actually, this was really nice, but I'm going to give it a five. But See, now we have added to our top five rated prompts, this particular prompt, which was a mystical vibrant tree of life. So this is entirely GPT-4 generated. And then our next image is this one. I like this one as well. So I'm going to click escape and I'm going to give this one a four. See, we are quickly starting to fill up our five highest rated prompts. This one looks nice too. We'll give it a four. I guess what I'm trying to explain is that I could have just given it one, two. If I were to give it a rating of one, then it would still be included at first and early on in the top five highest rated prompts. So then if I find another one, then I, that another image that is better, I might turn it into two or three or something like that. 
Anyway, this one looks actually great. I'm just going to do a regular rating and I'm going to give it an 8. And we are ready. We just rated the fourth image. This is the fifth image. This looks wonderful as well. I'm going to give it a 7. And after we rated the first five images, then we go on to the next five batch. And our images are created here as well. I should have deleted the earlier images, but this is where you will find your images generated. So a new image is generated and we keep rating these images and then these ratings get appended to the highest top five highest rated prompts list. And we keep sending this back to GPT-4 as inspiration, hoping that the more higher rated images we include, that we will improve the quality of the images over time. Well, let's take a look at the code and at the end of the video, we can play some more with this system. So we are doing our necessary imports. The requirements for this is OpenAI, Stability SDK, and Pillow. You have to pip install these. I made a comment over here. And then we define our Stability API with the client. The key, I have put the key into my, I'm pulling the key from my user environment variables, but you can define it right here. We are using Stable Diffusion 1.5. And now we are defining our OpenAI key. Again, I'm pulling it from my user environment variables. Then we ask the user for an idea for an image. Then we have this generate prompt async method. So the role, user role is the top five highest rated prompts are. And then we insert that top five highest rated prompts. And then rewrite a new prompt and feel free to take inspiration from re and recombine the best elements from each highest rated prompt. But this is only if we have the prompt text, which is our top highest rated prompt. If not, then we just simply send the GPT for write a prompt for an image depicting whatever the user prompt was, the idea, right? And then we make a client session call because we are using async. And then our prompt system prompt is you will write special prompts for generative text image models, sample ideas and prompts. So I gave it a three shot. Okay, I give it a robot line and it's prompt, steampunk, a futuristic robot, a beautiful house. Actually, I foreshadowed it. As you see, there are no artist names here. Anyway, then we get the response and then we now are going to make a call to stability. And this is the call style here. These are all your options. I will actually include, uh, I will make this code available to my Patreon supporters. The link will be in the description. And I will also include this boilerplate call to stability. It includes all the uh, definitions and all the different models you can use. For example, speed stable diffusion version 2.5, so it's 2.1. Also, the different samplers you can use. So you can take a look and experiment to your heart's content. I'll include this file as well. But our main file is after we make the call, we are giving 512 by 512 images. We are using stable diffusion version 1.5. We're just doing 30 steps for speed purposes. Right, and we are only getting one sample image at a time. Then we have our format prompt text, which takes in the highest rated prompts list. And then we just simply format it. It, it includes the prompt plus the score of it, so that when we are actually inputting the formatted text back into the prompt. And then our main function, this is for numbering purposes. So when we're saving images, highest rated prompts initiated with an empty list. And then we say while true. Prompt text is whatever formatted. If highest rated prompts is doesn't matter if it's empty, this will. But we're gonna we're extracting the prompt text using this function, right? We format it in a certain way so that we see the prompt first and the score. And this is how we're sending it to GPT-4. Then we are generating our prompts right here. Essay and Kyle gather generate prompts for each prompt in our list in the prompts text. And then we generate our images using the generate image function we have defined using stability for each of the prompts. Then we enumerate over those and then we actually get the artifacts. Stability returns three artifacts like a filter and whatnot. Then we get the artifact type artifact image and then we get the bytes out of it. And then we actually just save them and then change the numbering so that we have adequately numbered them, appropriately numbered them. Then we ask for user feedback to rate the image on a scale of 1 to 10. If we actually rate it with a 0, then we'll skip that image. That image will be saved, but it won't be included in our highest rated prompt. So this is a way of you can skip over images. So this was a nice idea. So the highest rated prompts don't get filled up too quickly. Then we just append all those things to the highest rated prompts, and then we order it, and then we take the top 5. You can change this. You can get the top 10. 
but just keep in mind that the improvement process begins after the like whatever like the for example the first five async events have been completed anyway so then we just simply print it and we run our loop i have also created another file with a tk to enter user interface with uh, use the shuffle images function to shuffle the images and then we have a rate the next function which actually shows us the images and then allows us to rate it and, and then uses the next update image label and then we simply this is a way for us to rate the images so i'm not going to talk too much about this because this is just a secondary thing this is i'll actually do we have any images okay i put the astronaut images back into our images folder and when we run this image test, then this option pops out. So we can start rating images. I just rated that one seven and a three. So we can quickly rate these and then it shuffles it. So you're trying to remove the bias, right? And after you rate it, I'm just going to quickly rate them just randomly after we rate all of them. Okay. We're going to see a matplotlib graph and then you can save this graph. This is just randomly rated. You can save this. This is what I was showing you earlier. Let's take a look. Yeah, this was my attempt at figuring. And I guess this gave me some confidence that this system is working. But I'll quickly scroll through this file so you can see what's going on. If you want to copy it from the video, but I'll make this available to my Patreon supporters as well. The link will be in the description. So let's play around with it. I'm going to do a quick speed run and then... Uh, I'll accelerate the process because this is this can be pretty slow but we're rating on gpt4 we're rating on stable diffusion but i'll just speed up this portion of the video so we can see what's happening we will use the tree of life idea that actually those images were nice So we generated quite a lot of images. There's a, they are in order. And let's actually try to rate them as well. Just go through them quickly. Some of them are really beautiful. I like that one. This one's cool. Yes, everybody will have different preferences. And this one is my favorite. You have to, let's take a look at it. Yeah, I like that. You have to remember that your preferences are going to play a role, like the kind of images you end up rating the highest. It's going to play the highest. It's going to, it's going to guide the process, right? So anyway, now that we've done this, let's actually do the testing process as well. So we can see how that works. We're just going to run this. And now we're going to test these. Let me give that a four. I like this one. Yeah, seven. I like that. I like that four seven yeah so we're gonna rate these according to our liking let's give that a seven eight yeah this is nice give that a three okay continuing seven for that that's all right maybe six so i like that i wish you made more of that kind of image i really like it love oh satan and the satan like that as well yeah this is it so this is our graph yeah so i guess it did improve towards the end and we could have gone longer i actually got an error not sure why maybe error yeah i'm not sure 
Anyway, but maybe it's a stable diffusion error. It's a gRPC. Anyway, so this is how it works. Feel free to play with it, improve upon it. Like I said, I'll make the code available to my Patreon supporters. I'm also starting ups for my Patreon supporters on a regular basis. Check out my Patreon. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.